Your report on Xi Jinping's drive to improve China's public toilets Xi Jinping makes China's toilets a number two priority. The 28th of November made me wonder if he isn't calling for an end to the one country, two cisterns strategy. And while China's public toilets may not be as clean and hygienic as they could be, they are at least in plentiful supply. On a recent wander around London, I was appalled at the dearth of public facilities. Size toilet drive is coupled with broader urban hygiene improvement measures, then the results should be impressive. Andrew Benton Beijing, China Keith Flett Letters, the 25th of November challenges your paper to rebirth itself in the era of new formats. I know he supports my oft-repeated suggestion that the letters page is a two-page wall would allow expert contributors, particularly with expertise, space to properly develop and illustrate their points. It is an important space and place for the country to debate opinions within an edited framework. Peter Hack Brestain, Powis I learned from Blue Planet 2 BBC 1, the 26th of November that the female giant cuttlefish develops a white line along one side to indicate that she is not available for mating. If only women could develop this ability, so much misunderstanding could be avoided. Pam Barrett London never mind driverless cars letters, the 27th of November. After a summer of scrapes, pranks and on crashes with floating gin palaces of all shapes and sizes, the need for a driverless boat is long overdue. Ian Grieve Gordon Bennett, Shropshire Union Canal Presumably, if the Productivity Watcog is any good, it won't need many members' employers call for Productivity Watcog, the 28th of November. Michael Cunningham Wolverhampton My wife and I went to see Paddington two letters, the 28th of November and no one in the audience was below the age of 35. Gordon Waddington Doncaster Join the debate via email guardian.letters at theguardian.com Read more Guardian letters, click here to visit goo.com letters.